Alright, the last episode of this session. Calling it now. Naming my shot. Derek, you had a topic. Go for it, man. Yeah, so I, I was thinking about this the other day uh, when I got to work for some reason. I don't believe you. You don't think. What, what if just, that what was if mean, just I'm one day... Yeah, it kind of was me. Now I want. Now I want to say my thing. Derek, you have a pretty big brain. I would make love to it. Damn right, it's pretty. Okay. Um. That's why I'd make love to, to it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so. Um... I like how you said "damn right, it's pretty, big, but it's pretty," and then you heard me finish that statement about me making you love, and you're like, "Okay." Oh. oh man! So I heard it. I heard that statement before I finished saying it. But, um, anyways, so I was thinking about this. What if just one day Jeff Bezos, just the CEO of Amazon, yes, just I'm aware, raided the White House, uh, or like the or like the the like the White House, the Capitol building, and like. Again, the Pentagon. I guess he's not getting into the Pentagon, probably. Not not that far. But like, what if he just like quickly, ju like just Jeff Bezos has the money to to be able to hire a like he could hire like a mercenary army, a small mercenary army, but just enough to be able to just like he he could like he could raid a city. Uh, I I immediately for, I first thought of the government, but in reality, well, why Jeff Bezos, he? if he he could either he could either buy a city or he could just take it over, or he he could probably take over a state. Really, he would. He, uh, I was well, just thinking like he could do that. Like, what if he what if he just what if he bought he bought a merc bought like an army, uh, because you can cause you, you 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 could do that. Or he yeah, could do that. He has the money too. That. Yeah, let's say. Yeah, let's say he just like hires like eight hundred people, uh, and like arms them. You know, gets uh, gets like, uh, like helicopters and stuff too for support, whatnot. Uh, he just like raids the White House out of nowhere. Okay. I'm prepared for like that big of a of a strike, <laughs> or something. Like, I didn't realize there was a glass let's say he just take like this. Let's just say, and like he also raids the Capitol building at the same time too. Okay. I'm I'm sure in the middle of this, they probably someone probably presses a button, which like you know like calls calls the military over, whatever Pentagon maybe does, maybe they ring the Pentagon, who knows? But let's say he just does, and he he uh, he just rem uh, he removes everybody that's currently there from there. Probably just like the army just kind of like kills everybody there. Okay. And I, I was thinking to myself, if some if he did this, what what happens then? Because like <laughs> if he take if if all of the because like that's what, like if it depend if if he did it on like the right day, most of the most pol important politicians would all be in that one area. And like. There you guys go, by the way. I, while way. they have security, while they have, like, security, they're not, I don't think they're expecting, like, a full-scale siege. It's very possible, right. just like a small army, he does he does that. So, I, I, my, I thought, my thought was, what happens then? Like, what happens if someone just, ta just someone just takes over, like, the Capitol, basically? They take over, like, well, the Capitol building, well, they, they remove all politicians, all important politicians, like, the high-up like politicians from existence, I guess. Uh, are you are you gonna listen the to House Jeff Bezos, Derek? Important. I'm not. He's not. Well, there you uh, go. That's your answer. Like, That's basically what happens. I'm just saying. Just so okay. Just like, so like the military oh. kicks him out. out. Yeah. And the military's like uh, Jeff Bezos, get get out of our White House. Well, then what? But, but then but then what? Because like there's no one left. There's no, none of the important people are left. That were that that were elected there before. Okay. Or not right. many of them. We we start. Here, here, I'm just that, this, 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 all right. So I just want to know. This is exactly what this the Second Amendment is for. This is a weird hypothetical. Just happened in my brain. 
George Washington was like, this is, yo, this... what if fucking the guy who makes Amazon in the future from now, Jeff Bezos or whatever, takes over the fucking Capitol building? They're gonna need guns. Yeah, they're no, gonna... And then for... everyone was just like, yeah, they're gonna need guns well, for it, that. Was, it was... This was for him to take it over. However, the reason I specifically said Jeff Bezos is because the average person does not have the means to seize the government. The average people do don't have the means to seize the government. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes it takes uh, I like it would take a billionaire to to be able to. Uh, the other thing too is like a small like there's there's no group there's no gathering of people. There's, I don't foresee any situation where a group of people can simply just gather together and then t like try to overthrow the government. Um, a small group of people can do that because like you can't. There's no way you'd be able to amass enough people without arousing enough suspicion. Even and like again, even Jeff Bezos in this uh, scenario, in this uh, hypothetical scenario, probably also isn't going to be able to just secretly spend millions of billions of dollars on hiring a mercenary army, buying weapons and all that stuff without it you know showing up or being suspicious and whatnot i'm sure he get attention called to him <laughs> for it um but right the people don't right currently really possess the ability to overthrow the government anymore because the government is significantly better armed than any average citizen could just be uh there's yeah we like the that that it, way back when the second amendment first came to be the government was using the same the same arms that the the, the general public was using we yes. don't do that today we we do not have the same sure arms don't. that the government does we do not have helicopters we don't have tanks uh, people don't have access to that kind of thing uh, and that uh, billionaire billionaires could that's which is why I said Jeff Bezos. Even if even if the government is kind of partially is aware, like or uh, becomes like aware partway through, it's uh I I don't really know what happens in that scenario, but like with enough money, I mean he he could uh and what could happen or and uh, the other thing too is what could happen after that is if he did if that did happen uh despite error it's possible it's possible he could right behind him following following this movement i don't know how many people would follow jeff bezos but i don't think anyone would really i was i was just thinking about that of just like i i disagree i think i think he easily could uh, get like i don't know how many people it'd be but he could definitely get some people to follow to to like be like you know what i'm okay with this I'm okay with Jeff, with uh, King Jeff Bezos. <coughs> Some people would do it, I'm sure. I wouldn't, but how did Jeff Bezos? Ask? I know this is just a weird thought. It's just a weird. <laughs> he's he is a very. I I believe he's a very. Uh, he's like actually like ripped. Like. Wait, he's actually his very ass thick. crack is ripped. Um, yes, Derek. Most people are. That's how the poop comes out. I sure hope. Yeah, I sure hope it is. I don't think it's sealed up, buddy. I don't. I don't think it is. I, but I'll let you know if I go for. T if I ever go and try to get me Tinker, a bit it's of sealed jab. like an Amazon package. <laughs> you gotta. Unpack it's got it. like yeah. the Amazon tape across it. You have to like, like rip it off. Yeah, that's how sex with uh, it's also very Jeff Bezos would go. You're right. Okay, also very I have to. Like I have to figure out. Inside. I have to figure out if I, uh, I just earned four times money from that battle. Because if so, I, I, I know how to make money quick in a game that you already can make money quick. You solved a problem that didn't exist. Oh, it doesn't mention how much money you get from them. I have no idea. Hmm. Let me see. Let me align. Let me search amulet coin. Let me search luck incense. Well, let me just. Um, I don't know, this is a, that was just a thought I was thinking about the other day. Is like, while the general public doesn't have the means to overthrow the government, as is 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 in the Second Amendment, uh, 
Oh, it does not stack with amulet coin. That's stupid. Who designed that? Fucking dumbasses. It's like they don't want us to have, like... A good jailer in money! Sum of money. What the fuck? Now what is... I think now we'll never get money in this game. Oh, also, uh, now in case never you don't know, be able to hire an all of time freezes when you climb onto a ladder. I, 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 I've been on a ladder before. And now he's frozen in time. And, oh. It's frozen time. Stuck. Watch. See the backpacker up there? She really swings. She looks back and forth. Back and forth. And, oh, I got her stuck mid, mid looking. She just stopped right there. And, bam, oh, oh, I did it again. Bam. Forever locked. Nice. Sure is. You just have to stay on, stay on that ladder forever. And she will not be able to move. She loses the ability to move, Derek. It's worth it. Hey, look, Diglett. And Dig. Diglett, Dig, Diglett, Dig. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Wait. Diglett. Dig. Doug. Trio. That's it. In the next game, they're gonna add Doug. Add, uh, add uh, Dig Doug as the uh, third evolution to Doug uh, Beyond Doug Trio. I believe that. Maybe he's a pre-evolution to Diglett. <laughs> sure is, buddy. Oh, I guess I can just run right by that backpacker. Um, but you know, Diglett digging. Oh, cool, two rare bones. And you know what I always say? Next time on Skeletons, I do always say that. Bye bye!